For Tesla, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. But simply explaining alternating current to investors won't be enough. He needs to show them exactly what it can do. This is not for conversion, but makes use of full possible voltage. No commutators, no brushes, no more breaking parts, but more importantly, no friction. Gentlemen, if I may. This is one of the characteristics of Tesla that's really important, is that he was very good at coming up with sort of simple demonstrations to show people uh, what the possibilities were for the technology he was working on. A rotating magnetic field, alternating current. Gentlemen, the future of electricity. Tesla is able to show how a spinning egg controlled by electricity is analogous to an engine. The demonstration is a hit, and Tesla gets his first investors. Now, he's ready to take on Edison's electric empire. Tesla's opportunity may be coming at just the right time. By 1888, Edison's system is struggling to meet demand, but he still refuses to abandon direct current. Five years of investment personally and from bankers like J.P. Morgan in developing a direct current system. He's going to build central stations. People are going to invest in those central stations. He's going to earn money from those. He knows it's going to work. But now Edison has competition. With his investor's money, Tesla opens a lab not far from Edison's Pearl Street Station, determined to show the world what alternating current can do. Tesla's idea of alternating current was very much a populist idea. It wasn't that a few big power plants would be producing power for a few large companies. It was that everyone could be electrified. But he still needs to find a way to boost AC's power. Alternating current travels in waves, with gaps in between the peaks. Tesla envisions a second signal, out of sync with the first to fill in the gaps. Tesla does have a vision about alternating current. It comes to him in a kind of picture, and he's able to see that as the way to transmit electricity over long distances. And from that point on, he really held fast to that and is eventually proven correct. As alternating current comes closer to being realized, Thomas Edison's electric empire is about to face its greatest threat.